And a good happy workshop Wednesday morning, everybody. Hope everybody is well. Live and well in Texas. Uh, don't know if something's happening. Wind's been to the mid 90s in weeks, it feels like. And everybody else is burning up, but it's raining, it's green, it's not hot. Life is great. Hope it is for y'all. Um, workshop Wednesday this morning will be kind of a deal I did last week where I talked about doing an ink pull. I think it was last week, one of the last two weeks. Um, thought I'd show everybody. Ink pulls are fun and not hard to do. Uh, sometimes very, very important. Uh, what we need to do with an ink pull is get a canvas that uh, the size and shape of the canvas has changed either because of sculpting or uh, what I'm gonna do this morning is take a knife made by somebody else and, and pull the canvas of the bolster off so that we could then Put that on the computer draw around it or tracing paper and 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 draw our design and work on our engraving design there on the on the bolster and then we could transfer it and everything would fit and voila away we go so anyhow this is fun it's easy this won't take long here we go so materials are world's best fingerprint slab ink um i think i found i know i found this on the internet somewhere uh, a cop website or something. I'm not sure, but there's enough for 16 careers of bitten sperm makers there. But uh, get you some fingerprint ink. Q-tip. Here's our knife. You can see here on this bolster that I got a, uh, a lanyard hole. I think they call that or something. We got a hole here, and so um, it would be really in, important and beneficial to know exactly where that hole is if I'm going to draw some scrolls and. And, and engrave this knife. So show you how to do it. Here we go. Get just a little bit. Of, it don't take much of this. I mean, not much at all. So I just, just, did you see that? Yeah. You barely see how I rubbed there. Got a little bit. And I'm gonna take it and rub it over the top of my knife here. Y'all can see, I'm not putting a big black smudge like that on there. I'm, I'm just putting a little bit. It doesn't take a lot. See that there? Now just some, this is tear by hand package tape, but any kind of tape. Now they make some fancy crystal clear stuff that, that works really good, but for this little deal, uh, make it works good for transferring designs and all kinds of things but for this little thing right here it takes nothing special you can use scotch tape so now just laid it on there and I'll take my thumb and finger just rub over the top of it like that i'm not pushing down this way because if some of my ink got on the edge well then that would pull that ink up too and, and that's not what I want. I just want my, my boundary edges of this. So that's that. And then flop it down here on my paper. There you go. So let's zoom in here. So you can see, let me get a pointer, some kind of pointer. So you can see right, whoa, dirty. You can see this edge right here, see that? That's the edge of the bolster. That part right there, that's the edge. So we come in here, if you don't use computer, you wanna use tracing paper, put your tracing paper over the top of it, draw a line around that stuff. And then voila, there's your canvas. You can put another piece of tracing paper over the top of that and go to drawing. Um, if I, I would take this to the computer, uh, take a picture of it, put it in my computer and then trace over the top of it. And then I can bring in my boundary edges and all the stuff that we do and away you go. Easy peasy, man. Um, really cool. And like on the buckles that I was showing you doing where um, I do a lot of shaping and when I draw it, it's all flat. Well, when you go to shaping those buckles, um, that canvas all of a sudden stretches, grows, gets all twisted. So an ink pull works really good. You, 
you go down there, put it all down, put uh, take the pull just like that, and then you can come back and, and figure out where your silver goes, how it fits in there, what shape it needs to be, and uh, off you go. And do the same thing, tracing paper or the computer, um, figure out what how, how it's supposed to go. Cut it out. All's well. This weekend, we've got the bid and spur maker deal at Matt Humphreys that he and Troy Flayhardy are putting on, and I can't wait to see you guys. I hope a bunch of people are going to be there. I know a lot are going to be there. I'll have motor mouth there too. So be two good days and uh, y'all got any questions, holler at me. Adios.